Okay, we are now joined by head coach Nate Oates. Uh, we'll have coach um, open up with a statement and then we'll go ahead and uh, take some questions after that. Coach, whenever you're ready. Yeah, I was really pleased with our guys' effort. You know, we didn't play particularly well on offense in the first half. I had way too many turnovers, but you know, I think this was a character win. We could have had every chance we could have to fold. You know, things weren't going our way offensively in the first half. You know, Shaq, who's been playing really well, you know, struggled a little bit offensively, but hung in there, you know, played good D. Quinterly, you know, struggled at Kentucky. You know, we moved him to the bench because we didn't think he's playing hard enough on D. Came in and played super hard. You know, we don't win this game without his effort. You know, he got his offense going. You know, I was really happy for him. J.D., we were on J.D. about playing harder. He ended up winning the blue collar. Hard hat, Ward, let us rebound, so... A lot of guys made some big plays for us, stuff we're looking to make. You know, we uh, offensively, we got room to grow. You know, we didn't shoot it particularly well like, again, but, you know, we shot free throws well. You know, everybody wants to complain about Alabama free throw shooting. Well, shoot, we don't win this game without every last free throw we needed there tonight. We go 22 of 25 and, you know, win the game by two. So that, that, was, that was huge. So happy with our guys' effort. You know, they, they made a big run. We got to do a better job guarding without fouling. There's lots we can get better at. But, uh, you know, at this point, to beat a team that won four straight home games, you know, on, on the road, to go, come in here and get one place that Alabama, you know, historically struggled to get wins at, I thought it was a big character win for us. Thanks, Coach. Go ahead and start with some questions. Uh, Charlie Potter. Coach, you mentioned Quinterly. Just outside of the lineup change, did you challenge him before this game? And if so, how do you think you responded to that? Yeah, I mean, we challenged him that, you know, his defense had to get better. We had to play harder. And we weren't going to be able to win big games if he didn't give us, you know, better effort on defense. And I thought he responded great. I thought his effort was way better. I thought, you know, we showed him highlights of his Baylor game. I thought he was unbelievable defensively against – you know, Ken Joe. So that's how we want him playing. I thought I thought he was a lot better tonight. You know, I looked at his, his defensive efficiency numbers when he was in the game. We were 0.92. Team overall was a 0.97. So we were better with him in the game than when he was on the bench. So, you know, fairly significantly too. I mean, we were plus 17, like points per 100 possessions defensively with him in the game. So like that, that's where we got to get him to you know, just where he's playing hard and we're a lot better when he's in the game defensively. And we and that, that was the case tonight. So he definitely answered the challenge. Nick Kelly? Yeah, on Quinterly, I mean, is there a moment tonight that, that stands out to you that you really saw the, the effort and just kind of intensity you've been looking for from him? You know what? Uh, I, I thought he was into the ball. You know, he that's where he can really – create some havoc on D as a ball pressure. I thought he was up in the ball pressure and their point guard kind of repeated times, especially in the second half when we went on that big run. So I, that, that to me is more where you know, it wasn't like he, he's necessarily made a big time block or took a charge or anything like that. I just thought his overall effort, energy, you know, getting making it harder for them to start offense was a lot better. As, as I look at this thing closer to, we only had four guys that had positive defensive leverage, you know, it was Keon Ellis, Charles, JQ, and Shaq. So, like, you know, everybody else that played had a negative defensive leverage. So, you know, for him to be one of those four guys after, you know, challenging them like we did, I thought he really answered the bell. I'm, I'm proud of him. Mike Rodat? You mentioned a big run. I think it was 13 to three, ended up becoming 32 to 13, coming out of that first time out in the second half. Just what was the – the message at that point and, and how do you think they responded? Yeah, I, I mean, we told them they had to play hard. We, we show them their blue collar points every media time out. You know, we didn't have enough. We weren't creating, you know, you can't expect teams to just miss. Like, you got to go create stops. You got to get deflections. You got to make a block, make a tough play, challenge a shot. You know, I, and I thought they did that. You know, we, we, uh, we played a lot harder after that. You know, it's crazy. Then we come out the next time out when we started our run and show them how blue collar points, I guess what it equates to 
we're making a run and our offense all of a sudden's not better because we're running off stops and, you know, forcing turnovers and getting it out. So, you know, I, I, I thought, I thought just the effort and the energy was a lot better there in the second half. Go next to uh, Steve Moulton. Coach, uh, congrats on the win. You mentioned it about the free throws uh, of just getting your guys into situations to get to the free throw line. And then how, how do you get better at free throws throughout the year, Coach? I mean, we shoot pressure free throws all the time. I, I don't, you know, we do some free throw games with the teams and whatnot. I, some of it is just, to me, part of that's being locked in. Like, if you're a good basketball player and you're locked into the game, step the line, you make a free throw. Like you're locked into what's going on. When you're kind of worried about stuff you shouldn't be worried about, you're thinking about stuff you shouldn't be thinking about when you step the line and you're struggling to make free throws. Like just like you're struggling to get stops because you're not thinking about the play at hand. If you're locked into the present moment, you know, when when you stop, you're, you're locked into getting a stop. When you step up to the free throw line, you rely on all the reps you've taken and you're locked into that moment. So – it's about being focused, being locked in. And, uh, you know, our guys were good. I mean, we had multiple guys go 100% tonight. I mean, go down the list. And, you know, our big shot it well. Noah was four for four. Charles two for two. Rojas was three for three. You know, so, I, you know, it was good. Our big stepped up, made big free throws. Charles made two huge ones for us late. You know, he's been a lot better at the free throw line. You know, Brian, our system that works with the big, has been working a lot with – Charles on his free throws, and it's paying off because he struggled a little bit earlier in the year. All right, we got two. We'll finish with these two. Let's start with uh, Katie Wendell first. Coach, you mentioned JD winning the hard hat tonight after you know some of the high turnovers he had in the first half. How proud were you of him for you know not committing any turnovers in the second half, and finishing with that double double and the five assist? Yeah, I mean it was big. I mean we can't win turning the ball over like we were in the first half. So he settled down, had none in the second half, and kept playing hard. That was the thing, too, you know, where maybe he would have got down with the turnovers and let it affect his effort on the defensive end. I thought a lot of our guys were, were better that way. Like, like, missing shots, still play hard on D. Turn it over, still play hard on D. Like, don't let good offense or bad offense affect your effort on defense. We just need to play hard on every possession. And he, he, was, he was great and locked in and didn't turn the ball in the second half. All right, let's finish up with Charlie Potter. You really place an emphasis on defense, you know, heading into this game. Just what do you think of the team's overall effort and performance there and that kind of meet your expectations? Yeah, it was a lot better. I mean, if we hadn't fouled them as often as we did, and they're good at picking up fouls, that's part of what makes them a good offensive team. But if we'd have done a little better job, especially late in the game, especially with Pippen, I would have really been pleased with our defense because I thought – you know, we, we gave up a few too many old boards. We gave up the old board at the free throw line. I don't know, missed the checkout. But, you know, other, other than that, I thought our guys, I think Pippen only scored one field goal in the second half. So, yeah, I, I was much more pleased with our effort today than I was. If we had the same effort today that we had Saturday, I feel like we would have won with our offensive uh, showing we had it in Lexington. All right, thank you, Coach.